Hey guys, how are you? So I'm going to answer a question that was put to me by somebody who is looking to get into freelance, uh, but they have a job opportunity presented to them. So they've been working on freelance, they got a contract, but they have a very lucrative job opportunity. And here's the third thing. Their back is against the wall financially a little bit right now. So, so here we go. It says, to be honest right now, I can't say I have enough cash to sustain myself in the coming six months in case I don't get a job or a gig from a client. What just happened today got me into a lot of analysis on which path should I take. If it's going for the interview and let's say by good luck, I succeed in the interview and get the job offer. What will I tell the client about the project? Because he is in the process of making the payment on Monday, the same day I should attend the interview. So he's been working on freelance. That is his ultimate goal. His back is against the wall, cash wise, but he has a potentially lucrative job opportunity for himself. So what I say is, if the job is secure and you're tight for money, then for now, take the secure job and build up savings. You can slowly do freelance contracts on the side. This comes down to something I teach and I've taught for years now. Check out my video on FU Money. Check that out. FU Money gives you total freedom to be able to pursue different things. Basically, FU Money is a stash of cash that covers all your expenses for one year. If you do that, you're in a fantastic position. Uh, building up any business, even freelance, takes time. There is a lag time, a startup, like trying to move a big truck. Truck doesn't just go real quick like a bicycle. It takes time to speed up. And so you need a few money or a flow of income before you can get deep into uh, what go full time with your business or freelance. So I always preach a transition from your current money-making situation to uh, being able to actually uh, go full-time with your job or your freelance career. No, not, not your job, your business or your freelance career, whatnot. So this guy's got his back against the wall. That's what I suggest. Take the job, go for the job interview if it's a good one. Take the job because you're going to make money, you're going to gain skills, and do that contract on the side. If you had a contract, do it on the side. Uh, tell them, listen, booked up, I, I'll be able to devote, you know, X amount of hours per week, work on the weekends, work at nights. You typically don't have to meet clients in person. And if you do, you meet them on a weekdays or a weeknight, you know, whatever. And you just take care of that. Most people don't care if you have a job on the side, uh, especially when you're first starting out. So yeah, always jump into a new career into a business, freelance business, starting your own SaaS, what have you. Always jump into it cautiously. I live up in uh, northern Canada. Well, not northern Canada. I live up in Canada, which is in the north. And uh, when the lakes freeze over in the winter time, when the lakes freeze over, we always proceed very cautiously across the lake. Because you don't know where the ice is weak, right? You don't just run out there. So you take your time. Same thing with business. It's like walking onto a lake when it just froze over. You have to go slowly and gradually establish yourself. It's normal. It's normal that businesses take time to establish. That's why a lot of people don't get into business because they don't want to deal with that lag time of establishing the business, establishing workflows and reputation, just you getting comfortable with the process. So transition into that. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's it. So uh, do a freelance or go for a job? That was the question he put to me. His circumstances were unique. I'm sure yours will be too, but those are the principles that you can work with.